President Yoduro Biyanga Nguema has visited Uganda two times in just seven months. In April 2017, he was in Kampala for the signing of the bilateral agreements, covering areas such as security, trade, oil and gas and diplomatic cooperation. We are going to learn a lot of things from Equatorial Guinea, especially regarding petroleum. The two times I was there, I could see that they have used the petroleum, their petroleum well to build infrastructure. In the towns, I could see this myself. And I was told that even in the rural areas, there has been a lot of uh, construction. Indeed, we are here to exchange experience. For the last 20 years, we've been drilling uh, petroleum and gas in Equatorial Guinea. Explotando el petróleo y gas. The latest visit on Thursday this week was meant to assess the implementation of the pacts. In August 2017, President Museveni also visited Equatorial Guinea, where Nguema presented to him the country's highest honor, the Great Call of Independence Award. The way you use your oil and gas to develop Equatorial Guinea is commendable. And we're here to learn from you. But to what extent can this newfound love translate into meaningful development for both countries? Professor Sabit Makara from the Department of Political Science at Makere University argues that it was a wrong decision for Uganda to choose Equatorial Guinea as a case study in developing the oil sector because half of the country's population still languishes in poverty despite the abundant oil wealth. A population of 1.2 million people, half of them, 600,000 people, live below one dollar a day. There is a lot of disparity in terms of economic uh, empowerment in Equatorial Guinea than any country on this continent. So I don't know the kind of lesson that uh, one can learn from Equatorial Guinea to our situation in, in Uganda. Equatorial Guinea is the fourth largest oil producer in Africa in the area of security and defense. Makara says it is Equatorial Guinea, which is benefiting since the UPDF is currently training its soldiers. I think some of our special forces, or generally the UPDF, has a contingent which is helping in the security of uh, Equatorial Guinea. So maybe that is one of the issues which is making um, Uganda closer to, to Equatorial Guinea. Makara, however, says at a personal level, the two leaders need each other to maintain their grip on power in their respective countries. Makara believes Nguema, who has been president since 1979, is beneficial to President Museveni if he wants to extend his 32-year rule in Uganda. There could be a lesson or two which the president of Uganda might learn from Ghana on how to, or from Equatorial Guinea on how to keep power. Maybe they have the ruling party can keep power. This could be a legitimate uh, a legitimate uh, lesson for learning from a man who has kept power for 40 years. How did you do it? Habat Ziwa, NTV Weekend Edition.